unicorn was not wearing a seatbelt and he got very severely hurt. But you know, Tabitha was wearing her seatbelt and she's totally fine. She's perfectly safe. Seatbelts are very important. Did you know that nationwide two thirds of those killed in auto crashes were not wearing seatbelts? As Newton's first law of motion states, all objects in motion stay in motion until acted upon by an unbalanced force and all objects at rest stay at rest unless acted upon by an, by an unbalanced force. If it weren't for your seatbelt, you would go flying through the windshield at the same speed as your car was going. This is because of inertia. Inertia is a uniform motion in a straight line. The uniform motion is a motion going at a certain speed for a certain time. This means that the person in the car would keep moving forward until an unbalanced force, such as the windshield, stops them. When you wear a seatbelt, it takes the place of the windshield. Many innocent people are killed every year in car crashes from not wearing their seatbelts. Since Newton's second law states that acceleration of an object increases with increased force and decreases with increased mass, or force applied is equal to mass times acceleration, a seatbelt is that force that stops the person from flying through the windshield. To reduce your force, you must reduce your mass. The seatbelt is a smaller force than the windshield, so it prevents larger injuries from happening. Newton's third law states that every force has an equal and opposite reaction. This applies to a car crash. The action force of the car crash is the car and the object colliding, and the reaction force is the force sending the car backwards, which causes the damage. When the cars come towards each other with a lot of force, there is more damage caused. When there is more force applied, there is an equal reaction, which injures the passengers a lot more. As to the E to the C, safety, C,